AJ, what are you doing right now? So reaching back, confirming that my valves are on. It's part of the IENTD checklist. So all valves open, quarter turn back, or just a little bit back, just to make sure they don't stick. Checking my oxygen addition feel down. You'll see an oxygen addition right here, manual oxygen addition. I'm also checking the pressure gauge to make sure it doesn't drop, make sure I get free flow at that point. Same thing on the diluent side. Diluent addition, make sure I still have it, make sure it works. Just checking the parts before you go in the water. How important do you think checklists are and do you think that they reduce accidents? <laughs> checklists are absolutely crucial. And if you aren't doing your setup with your checklist, you're wrong. Matter of fact, we have a couple of people here, and I'd like to have you talk to this guy afterwards, and are developing a checklist online in an app. I love it. That can be automatically responsive, and it, it converts back and forth. You talk to it, it talks to you, it tells you what to do. You say check, you go forward, it has timeouts, 30 seconds if it takes you too long to do something, really neat. So, so would you say that people don't do checklists or strokes? Just asking. I don't. I don't use that term. <laughs> you guys get the idea, though. Yeah, no. Okay. But, uh, but I'll tell you this: a checklist will absolutely keep you alive. Learn by others' mistakes. That's what the checklist. Checklists are written in blood. People don't get that. They're absolutely written in blood. Every checklist that we have is there because somebody did something wrong. And I'm like three or four of those. That's me.